Hey, it's Eamon with IP Exchange. Uh, here's coming up a new IP Experience interview with Klaus from Semify, uh, chatting to Guy about uh, Motor Shield that goes on this kind of you know form factor board. I know there's some extra stuff on here, but I'm not taking it off. Um, and unlike Arduino's conventional uh, Motor Shield, uh, this one goes much higher power. So uh, if you want to build robotics, uh, that can push just a little bit further than the Arduino Motor Shield. Check this one out. Hello, Klaus. How are you? Welcome to this IP experience for the IPXs, where we're looking for disruptive technology and how you're going to help solve problems at Semify. So tell us all about what Semify do and how you solve the world's problems. Okay, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah, thanks a lot. So also, yeah, happy to, to have the interview with you. Um, I'm Klaus from Semify, founder of Semify. We are working on developing products which, let's say, help engineers in order to uh, solve, let's say, dedicated problems. So we have currently mm -hmm. developed two different products. So one focusing on um, doing a motor shield. This is the X uh, competitor, which is an open source community. Say that again. Uh, just repeat. Just repeat. It's uh, okay. So it's a it's a motor shield. Um, motor shield. Motor shield, which is compatible to Arduino. Right. And it is um, for a, especially developed for DCCX, which is an open source community for model railroad systems. So it was developed as a community there, but can also be used um, for different other motor shield applications. It is compatible right. to the already existing motor shield uh, from right. Arduino itself. So it's tell me, just tell me, because we're a general platform, so we're all about design engineers, lots of different applications, okay. and we're a general platform where people can come and find out about solutions generally, and then they specifically then will come onto IP Exchange and find things that will help them uh, develop their... So start from the beginning. Explain to me about motor shield explain to me what that is okay good okay so the motor shield we are developing it is an arduino compatible motor shield so it fulfills the pinout and is compatible with arduino systems it um, is a special it was developed for it together with the dccx railroad community which is an open source platform in order to um develop and drive uh, dedicated developments for model railroad systems. Nevertheless, the motor shield itself can be used by many ap other applications. Um, right. So you... where, 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 what would be the top three applications that you deal with every day? Everything where you have a motor. It can be a stepper motor, which can be used, or it can be a normal motor um, for driving a, a plotter, for driving, for using robotic applications, um, right. wherever you need a certain, let's say, driving strength on the motor. The main yeah. difference between the already existing Arduino motor shield is that we have a higher current capability for each of the channels, which is going up to five amps. Um, right compared to the Arduino motor shield, which has a, a lower value there. We're approximately in the range of two amps. And we also support a higher voltage or higher DC or supply voltage. So we right. can work with voltages up to 25 volts. And that would be in case, uh, if you compare this Arduino motor shield, there you are in the range of five to 12 volt DC as a maximum value there. Right. Right. So we are basically targeting applications where the power consumption or the power requirements are higher, so addressing larger, let's say, motors. Right. So you mentioned ro robotics. What are the other apps? That, so I'm a design engineer today. I need to buy an off-the-shelf. So, so what I've already decided, I'm going to buy an off-the-shelf solution like Arduino. Yeah. So. Yeah. Obviously, Arduino offer the same thing that you, but you're saying you're better in higher power areas. So you've mentioned robotics. What would be the other? What would be the other areas? Uh, you can maybe do it for, let's say, applications where you drive some some vehicles, some small vehicles where you have where you need more current. Would be a possible possible other application. Right. Um, you want to move something where you have 
where you need a little more energy, um, this all would be possible applications. Alternative would be some robotic applications where you have to move some some goods or wants to do some movements with some robotic yeah. arms. So yeah. everywhere there where you do some prototyping, starting up a new application, uh, this motor shield would be suitable for you. And right. also as it's compatible to the Arduino motor shield, you can use the let's say already existing environment um, there on software driver, which is already available and you're very fast in building up a new application. Right. So are you saying that if you're if you're already using Arduino, you're it's a very easy to swap out your so you you all of a sudden you need higher power where Arduino is not quite so strong. Obviously, Arduino is an excellent company, yep. doing excellent boards. Mm -hmm. And what you're saying is when you've got higher applications needing higher power, you can take it, you can take their board out and you can put yours in. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right. That's and then, exactly what, 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 what was the, or what is the target? <laughs> or what, what, what. <laughs> okay, good, okay. good. And then, so what sort of, um, what sort of volumes is is uh, do you tend to be working in uh, in 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 these sort of industrial environments? Is it to cut people come and buy a thousand from you, ten thousand from you? What's the typical? Okay, the typical volume is we are currently selling let's say uh, single let's say pieces as to, as to use it for dedicated application. So we have quite a lot of customers. We are happy with let's say the sales so far. Um, most of the customers are really just buying one, two, maybe three shields uh, as they're doing then some prototyping. Right. And there, of course, in case there is the need um, for using it also really in application with higher volumes, we can provide also bigger numbers, not not a problem. Right. You can order them online. They're available currently. Um, You'll be applying for them, of course, through IP Exchange. Sorry. <laughs> you have to cut this out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You, you can apply there um, and then also get bigger volumes there um, if, if you want. Right. OK. So now I, 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 just so that we're clear with the whole point about Arduino is they, you know, you have most of the solution done for you. Uh, and then it's just a matter of embedding it into your process and then off you go. How does yours work? Is it, are you say it's absolutely compatible with any Arduino um, project. What else goes on once you get your board for prototyping? What goes on? What happens? What happens? So we did one demo application in our case where we connected it to a stepper motor. We made uh, a nuclear board in this case, but um, connected it with, uh, added our motor shield on top, connected it with, with the motor, and, um, and then made a very simple stepper application there where you could move the, the motor in a certain direction, or you can also change the speed and you could also um, yeah, change right. the, the direction and the position of the movement. But the point, of course, is that they're not just getting their board. You, they have to use your software to do that at the same time. This software itself is shared as an open source. Uh, right. So all, your, so all the software is open source too. With it, yeah, because it, the target was in this case not a really, let's say, finished product. In this case, the target was to show the easy usage of um, the motor shield together uh, with the um, Arduino compatible board. Right, right. Okay. And it worked, let's say, out of the box, um, taking one of my guys one one day to put everything together, including all the yeah, surrounding environment. Right, right. So in summary, we'll, if, if we're just going to talk about what's the perfect scenario for you, it would be, let's say, a, robot, a robotic arm where there's not a comparable off-the-shelf solution so you don't have to start from scratch. You you may well be using Arduino already, but you need higher power. So whether that's in a small, let's say, EV, uh, would that dare I say it? How big would that how big would that small EV be? Are you talking about something that might drive two people around in India, or are you talking about something smaller than that that might be going around a factory? Well, you mentioned that you could use it for EVs. Didn't you say that early on in our chat? Uh, so if you, if you do some vehicles, yes, yes, you could. Depends on, on, on the, not, not a big, big one in the savers where you can, can put people in there, um, but something you can drive uh, five times two, 75 watt for, uh, motor or something like this. Right, right. okay. So, so, all right, so, so very robotics. That, the uh, a simple, where Arduino can't solve the problem, 
you can in the hive area you make it very very easy because it's completely compatible and then you provide the software that's open source that means you scale with your project exactly yeah so the there we go so if you like me are a uno user check out semify's motor shield on ipexchange.tech where you can apply to evaluate this technology or build it yourself thanks to the open source nature of the designs which can be found on the semify github keep designing Hey, where my engineers at?